Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, horizontal bar plots. Okay, so start horizontal bar bar chart plots. So in the, all the previous videos, in the, in the previous videos, if you looked at it, all the bar charts we, that we drew, that were all in the vertical direction. And now sometimes it, uh, for some reasons whatsoever, we might be request, we might be interested to draw bar charts that are actually, I mean, that are horizontal in nature. Most of them are vertical, but sometimes we may need the horizontal ones. So that's what we are going to do today. So the comment for that is very simple. It's just this bar H and that is it. So I just create some values, random, uh, let's create some values over here. This is for the range. This is for the range and this is for the counts some frequencies to plot okay and i create some mid values over here nothing more nothing less it is pretty uh, pretty uh, straightforward and then what i've done over here is i just created some groups and to draw to make the bar horizontal bar charts the command i have to use is bar h okay this is the command i have to use bar, bar, that is it okay and then proceeding further we have to make a little more modifications here and there and we are talk about it one by one first include the mid values okay to do to plot Along the y-axis, uh, I mean, since it's a horizontal plot, this mid value actually corresponds to the values in the y-axis about which the bar will be drawn up, and then you draw the counts, okay, and then you give a color, uh, give a color using this color attribute over here, and then our color parameter, and then you align in the end. Then instead of adjusting with the bar width by pushing it to the left or right or something like that, there's another option over here called as align. And if you put the align value to be center, the bar chart will be made such that the bar will be centered about the about the mid values over here. So instead of you can instead of going manually and tweaking of the bar width, the mid values of the bar width, and then the x y ticks over I mean or ticks over here, this align option will take care of it and it will be much simpler. Okay, and then instead of the width of the bar, you have to give what you call as height. Since the bar is now horizontal. Okay, with uh, so you have to specify the height of the bar instead of the width. Okay, and that is actually given by this value height over here, and the value is specified to be one. By default, the width of the bar is one unit, so I'm just keeping it as it is. And then you can create a label, give a label, and then the you can also give an error bar. Since the errors are in the, uh, the bars are actually horizontal, instead of y e r r, we should give x e r r. We should give x e r r because it's our error all over the x axis. And now, this may look too much, but don't worry. It's not that difficult. And then, in the for the white text, we have to give what you call us. Um, okay, let's let's not worry about white text for now. Worry about white text for now. And now, if I run this particular code over here, and this is how I get my this is how I get my code. All all right. Now I have this horizontal plot. Okay, this is actually a stacked horizontal plot, such that. Um, such that the bars are actually horizontal, centered about these particular centered about these particular values, and the counts are actually given on my x-axis in x-axis instead. And you have a, an error bar for each of these values placed placed from over here, placed at the end, end, edge of them. So this is pretty good. And now let's try to superimpose multiple error multiple horizontal bars. Okay, multiple multiple horizontal bars to see how that can be done. So what I've done over here is I've included one more line, one more line option over here, and this is going to be another uh, bar chart with counts two with the same so position, pa same parameters as above. Only thing is instead of counts one, I give counts two, and I give a different color, thereby different color and label, thereby it's like they're different. And other than that, uh, other than that, nothing much. So if I just run this part of code over here, and there we go. Now, if you look at it, you have two color, two color bars. I mean, two bar charts over here, aligned perfectly, aligned perfectly, uh, nice to each other, uh, nice to each other, and all uh, all of them are horizontal, horizontal in nature. With each of them have their own colors and own legend and their own error bars. Okay. Now, um, well now what we can do is now what we can do is this way by which by just pushing up the mid values like this, it'll you'll be able to go uh, do it properly. Now if I just uh, don't have, let's say I have the same mid values, okay, for both these bar plots, and if I run them up, sure enough, as an anticipated, they superimpose on each other, and as a consequence, the already existing plot gets uh, ma masked up in during this kind of a plot. 
one way to avoid this is by you know just like the previous videos having a having what you call as a shift in the values and since the since it's a horizontal plot you have to shift you have to push the leftmost extreme so you have to give this option called as left and then in and then if you give the counts one to be the left extreme uh, left edge or left edge for next to a plot value over here they get pushed accordingly and now if you look at it and now if you look at it bar one which is actually in the brown brownish color plot that it came out well the bar charts for that came out well and then at whenever the bar one ends the second bar plot actually begins begins accordingly begins begins accordingly sweet is it sweet all right and now if you are like not convinced as to how these data are actually working out you can actually come in this particular line out and then see for yourselves what you actually see is that the bar gets actually shifted towards my left or right it gets shifted towards my towards from from the left extreme i just shift my color bars to the left thereby you get an idea that uh, what i'm actually doing is i'm just pushing it to the left not actually you know superimposing them prop superimposing them thereby there are plot on the plots do not mask on each other and now if i include these two lines over here these two lines over here i get them both super i get them both you know start to one on one on top of one on top of the other in the horizontal direction sweet and now other than that what i can also do is i can activate multiple uh, horizontal bars over here by just stacking them one after the other in this case what i have to do is that i just have to make sure that the left extrema uh, left value is actually uh, some of some of the previous two counts okay like this one and now if i run this particular code over here there you go now the plots are actually stacked pretty stacked pretty well without any superimposition there is only the error bar that have a little intersection that is obviously an anticipated anticipated so this way you have an option to go and control the uh, con control the how you can stack plots next to each other all right and now uh, you can also shift the error bar with over here if you push this to let's say 3 I mean, let's say 5 units and since they are all stacked on top of each other they are they would be they would be pretty nice they would be pretty neat okay they will be placed better and now this bar chart looks much more uh, aesthetically pleasing when compared to the previous one and now what i can do is uh, just for fun if i want to uh, uh, reduce the bar width over here which i can also do and uh, let's see how this turns out to be okay now you can clearly see that the bars are actually smaller for the subsequently smaller for the next value this way i can have some kind of a customization of the different bar charts over here and uh, this is this is again another feature that you have you can actually customize them to your extent so there's no um there's no constraint on how much you can customize it to your requirement and then i'm going okay i'm going to leave this as it is as far as the y axis is concerned usually in the previous plot you were breaking with the x axis now you have to break the y axis so i'm using this uh, y axis op option over here and sometimes you might be preferred to have uh, the groups into it so, uh, instead of having the value so I create the uh, groups list over here, having ten groups, and then I plug plug in the mid values, and then I put the value called as groups, and then I give a little bit of rotation. I don't need the rotation at all, but but uh, but I can still give it. And if we do that, now I have the labels over coming up over here. Okay, instead of the actual values, I get the labels over here, and this is pretty sweet, pretty sweet. And now instead of forty five degrees, I can actually give uh, horizontal, horizontal. and this will actually make the labels horizontal over here or i can just specify 0 degrees whichever it will work accordingly and instead of horizontal i can also give like uh, vertical although for this plot vertical this may not be good since it is a small label this is okay but if you have a big label or actually for this horizontal would be the better option to go about with it anyway this is actually a way you can work with it so i'm just going to keep this to be let's say 45 i mean uh, horizontal and there we go there we go now this plot is complete with all the information that you like and this is how you proceed with the stacked horizontal stacked horizontal bar charts all right and now the other things that you have over here just the y label x label title grid legend and plots plot show so these are like some uh, rudimentary features that you have to have it now with this a uh, central align plot over central align option over here you can actually use different kinds of uh, plotting styles and it will just work can work consistently through all of them so 
you don't have to worry you don't have to worry about it so all you have to do is whenever you're drawing a bar chart just put this align equal center and you don't have to worry about shifting this bar uh, shifting this mid values according uh, mid values a little bit you don't have to worry about that all right well that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care